सर इफ वी लुक एट जियोग्राफिकल सोशल जियोग्राफिकल एंटिटीज ऑफ इंडिया देन वी हैव मेनी मिस्टिनाइज लिंग्विस्टिक पॉकेट्स फॉर इंस्टेंस इफ वी लुक एट गुजरात वी हैव डांग वेयर यू हैव डांगी व्हिच इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ मराठी एंड गुजराती वी हैव यू नो ऑन द बॉर्डर ऑफ गुजरात एंड राजस्थान वी हैव बागरी कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ लैंग्वेज सो इज देयर एनी वे टू एड्रेस दिस क्वेश्चन थ्रू द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी विद इन द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ दिस डायलॉग so definitely i think technology can help us in understanding of these languages number one building data sets preservation of these languages and then taking this entire process forward to preserve those languages for example at microsoft what we are doing is that we are working on many indian languages which are not mainstream languages which are not recognized in india's constitution one of these is idu mishmi in arunachal pradesh another is gondi then one more is santhali so we are working with those kind of projects and the project elora what we are doing is that we are building data sets we are trying to preserve their uh, spoken you know material uh, we want to preserve their books the written text etc and that is becoming a part of this uh, the data sets and also you know this knowledge base around those languages across on on the internet so what it is doing is that number one it is helping in documentation of the, those languages and those traditions and preserving them forever because we know that many languages are also facing extinction you know so says that out of the 7200 languages that are around 3600 might be extinct by the end of this century 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 so we need to preserve them and technology can play a very significant part in and that is what we have seen in our work these languages we have we do wish be on the central so now we are also working on development of fonts in these languages what it will do is that it will create a digital ecosystem to preserve those languages and promote these languages and enable the users of those languages once it is in place i think then these languages can become popular and then they can be adapted in education system and so many other common services also so ultimately mainly preservation and then taking this languages for so thank you sir it's just if uh, sir uh, when we look at technology basically in translation especially it is the sanctity of meaning that matters so while you know translating from one language to the target language the meaning should retain its sanctity and we could see that even in today's in many advanced uh, uh, you know uh, ways of translation in terms of technology the meaning gets compromised so is there any way that we have in mind in the coming 5 years road map that would help us to retain this meaning the especially the sanctity of the meaning so i would say that we are making a good progress in that context if you if you you know used any translation system some 10 years back and the results that, that you got at that time they will be totally different from what you get today so machine learning is really uh, you know an inseparable part of the entire process and these technologies are learning day by day as much data we are feeding into these as much we are using them they are also getting you know better and better so yes your point is right that sometimes the meaning is compromised but these technologies are also maturing on a very fast pace and then these new dimensions are also coming up for, for example generative ai now that is much more powerful for example neural uh, transitions that is another aspect of this so all of this i mean all of this are coming together to make good you know output happen and i i believe that in the next 5 years we will see much better results than we see today thank you very much for the comprehensive answer sir thank you